Hello, whoever, wherever, whenever, and indeed whatever you are, this is Function Render Dream, aka Andy XR, on the Deforum Discord server. Welcome to another tutorial, and this one is going to be super quick, and it has nothing to do with animation or hybrid video or control nets or any of that cool stuff. Today, we're going to look at a time saving uh, tip which will get you up and running more quickly. What am I talking about? So when you normally launch Automatic 11.11 and you go to the Deforum tab, you are presented with some default settings. For example, the width and height will always default to 512. The batch name defaults to Deforum underscore time string. Keyframes default to 2D. You have values for the zoom settings. Noise, you have enable noise multiplier always switched on. The output tab, the FPS is always set to 15, etc, etc. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm always finding myself changing these defaults before I start my animations. However, there is a cool way in Automatic 11.11 such that you can tell it what settings you would like to default to. And the next time you launch a 11.11, you'll get those settings. So let me show you. For example, typically I'm dealing with landscape animations out of 480p resolution. So I always have my width set to about 832 and 448 height. On the keyframes, I'm a 3D person, so I always have 3D switched on. And therefore, likewise, in the motion tab, I always like to have translation Z switched off. So I always have that set to zero. I always have my noise turned off in the multiplier and I have nothing for my noise schedule. Coherence is always fine. I'm quite happy with those settings. I always leave the CFG at seven. And I always like to have a ladder seed to start with. In my output tab, I typically work at 30 frames per second. And I always like to have delete images switched on. And in the prompts, I rarely use our tiny cute swamp bunny prompt. So I like to have my prompt empty, ready to put something in there. And on my negative, I use a texture embedding called easy negative. Okay, now I want the forum to always use these settings whenever I launch the UI. How do we do that? Easy. Now we've set them, we go over to the settings tab, scroll down, to defaults and you'll see it says here that this page allows you to change default values in the UI elements on other tabs. Make your changes, press view changes to review the changed default values and then press apply to write them to UI config JSON. So if we hit view changes, it shows you what the old values were for the values that we changed. And on the right hand side, it shows you what the new values will be. So these are all the tweaks that I made to my Deforum tab. And indeed you can make tweaks to the other tabs in A1111, but I'm only interested in Deforum. You can see it's respected all the values that we applied. So I hit apply and that's now done. It says it's wrote 10 changes. And just to prove that worked, I'll go over to the command line interface. I'm gonna kill my A1111, it's now gone. I'll relaunch it. And now it's relaunched. If I go back to my UI, and I reload my URL. So I head over to my Deforum tab. We can now see that my width and height are the values which I specified earlier on. My keyframes are set up as 3D. I have no multiplier switched on. My output is frames is 30 FPS. Delete images switched on and there's nothing in my prompts and I have a new negative prompt. There you go. Nice and easy. I hope you get on well with that. There are a few little uh, quirks that I've noticed. So for example, even though it defaults to 3D mode, if I look in the motion tab, it's still got zoom set up. There we go, my translation Z is how I wanted it, zero. 
Okay, that's it. This will, this will work with any of the settings that you see in this UI. That's it. Nice and easy. Catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.